Hello truth seekers and welcome to our channel exposing the ugly truth behind Prince Charming Harry slash Princess Sparkles Megan. What is up YouTube welcome back to the chan so basically, pour yourself a tea and hold on to your scones because things are about to get messier than an iced tea left out in the hot California sun where royal drama has been boiling for sure. Hello, your local critic here with what I think is a spicy take. Read more your royal drama for the week only taken up a decade or two in scope this time. Oh boy, here we go again, and this one is a real hot button issue. But before I go into discussing it, subscribe for the love of God guys WTF are you waiting on? Make sure you smack that like and subscribe bell. Oh 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 now Prince William, our alleged future king is mad. Why, you ask? We are talking about Prince Harry here, but don't lose your crowns just yet because his younger sibling is due a £7 million fortune. Yes, £7 million. And who's it coming from? Queen Mother, our dear great-grandmother of course. You see, what use is a family feud if it cannot still utterly consume you from beyond the grave? Sure, I realize what you are thinking however come on Harry is already rolling in cash isn't he? Anyway, my lovely readers a little birdie told me the Bank of Sussex may not be as flush with funds we originally thought. Harry and Meghan really struggling in their Californian dream besides, those avocado toasts and green juices are not going to pay for themselves. Now for the good bit. The Golden William turns red. More than angry, he's fuming. And can you blame him? And let me tell you, Harry has been throwing more shade at the royal family than a whole grove of oak trees, and he's gonna hit. Pub dog on the track since people don't know what we mean when we say things like this, translate to, y'all ever seen Nepenthes? Pubs bars have these little machines that squish your burger real thin asterisk asterisk it would be like giving your child a brand new 120 pack of crayons for coloring on the wall. So what does this translate to? A month before reaching his 40th birthday, and jackpot, he gets an inheritance. And it all goes back to a trust fund set up by the queen mum for her favorite ginger grandson. Harry, however, gets to make the most of that pie with a, for royal terms, cheeky 10% slice after those 70 million pounds not bad for a spare, huh? So where does William feature in this plan, you might reasonably ask. Hooligan. Surely he gets a piece of this ancestral rub? So, it would seem our future king is already minted by the Duchy of Cornwall. Who cares about that, you're the thought provokes followers. Let's rewind a bit. Because who could forget the royal couple deciding they had enough of that bleak, rainy and stone-ridden mass called Britain. What was it like in January 2020? Oh my, oh my, the cat was not only out of the bag he had most assuredly landed amongst a squadron of pigeons. And thus began the bomb dropping. Interviews, documentaries, and finally the coup de grace, courtesy of Harry's memoir, Spare. Because, I do not know if it is just me but holy Shih Tzu have you ever seen so much tea spilled since 1773. In his book, Harry paints an unflattering picture of William you would have to be a carnival caricaturist not to do more justice. He said his brother called Megan this girl and accused her of being difficult, rude, and bitchy, ouch. Worst family Christmas ever. But here's the kicker, folks. I love a good insider scoop, and for those tuning in, William and Kate are said to be fuming over this inheritance drama. These opinions are about as credible on Harry and Meghan than a fox in the henhouse. Harry or Meghan and William, is, not one fucking little bit in love lost. And it is the thing that really galls folk, this notion of Harry growing rich off his great granny's bounty. And can you blame them? When your sibling who never comes to work wins the lotto after belittling the family business for years. An insider said, the bit that's sticking with William the most is Harry, after what he has done to them all. It really hurts. Yet that over and above insult to the injury. But wait, there's more. Is it time to conjure up the ghost of royal past again? 
Jenny Bond, loyal royal reporter extraordinaire and about to tell you more than any other woman in history has known or could possibly know on the subject a queen mother must be doing backflips in her grave. They were apparently the apple of her eye, her little gone gone. However, Bond believes Harry and Meghan would have received a stern telling off from the queen mum if she was still alive. As I wrote in reference to, the Queen Mother would have been mighty disappointed to see history repeating itself as Harry fell in love with a divorced American woman, then left royal life behind, what's more or Lee's exile given the call the Joffrey Brigade he married into, not dissimilarly from Edward VIII abdicating his throne for Wallace Simpson. Talk about deja vu, right? Now let that sink in for a moment. For those of us plebs, seven million is game-changing. We would be popping champagne, buying yachts and probably making some very poor wardrobe decisions. Smea all potatoes for Harry and Meghan. Most of us, as Bond puts it, a couple million pounds is, fuck you money. It is but a mere bonus on top of the commercial income for Harry and Meghan. But here's the million pound question, ladies and gentlemen. What the heck are Harry and Meghan going to do with all the dough? Will they use it to fund more tell-all podcasts? A reality show of some sort, perhaps how to lose friends and alienate royalty, or possibly a time machine. Wishful thinking, I know. Oh, and timing is kind of a huge deal too. Even Harry, who is nearing the big four to zero, a time when most people began reviewing their life choices, and let himself get style advice again. Will this inheritance become the epiphany he needs to heal, or just fuel for our royal fire? A lot of what is happening now would certainly have given the late Queen Elizabeth food for thought. My mum was big on family, and holding everyone together best she could. Or I imagine her now, one does not hang one's bilge-stained breeches on display in the Great Hall when there is no shortage of top-tier laundry professionals to be found. But here we are, folks. Not only is the dirty laundry being hung out to dry, but it's in beautiful 4K Ultra HD for everyone watching from home. It's a non-stop, real-life soap opera involving fancier ball gowns, and castles. So what will happen in this royal roller coaster next? Will William sue? It is as if Harry has decided to use his inheritance to buy a gold olive branch? Or is this the final tip that will have a royal going rogue? Not so, my lovely readers, this family tale is far from over. It's twistier than a royal pretzel at winter garden party and I'll be here with my two cents of viewer notes. Because as we wait with bated breath for the next chapter of this shambles, I can't help but think what if perhaps it's not the money that is really being inherited. Maybe it's the drama, hogging every headline and providing us peons with yet more hours of sideshow style entertainment and everything is covered by the British royals, why do we even need Netflix? Bring on the popcorn, tighten those tiaras and let's be comfortable, that British monarchy, I mean Game of Thrones character is never dull. Will brotherly love prevail? Or will it just be more family fights than 100 Christmases put together? Certainly, you can dig anything up in this country but one thing that is as sure as night following day, the Queen Mother may be dead and buried, Yes, six feet under and composted some say. Alan Goldsmith, at Iotsquo, May 2, 2020 This time it really is curtains for William and Kate, the Jimenez family of royal blood too common even to merit a reality show, as for Harry and Meghan, yes they're seven million pounds richer, but their popularity remains an uneasy trial separation in public opinion court. In the meantime, enjoy our jaw-dropping tales and sacred secrets over on YouTube. Thanks for watching. As always we are in this business of bringing you the most amazing details related to British royal family. See you. Bye for now.